So we've got a long-term client, really value. She's been having a little strain in the front of her hip. I say that in a general sense, I'm not diagnosing exactly what it is. I do know that a physician and her doctors, or physical therapist, have said she's clear that we can start loading that gently. So here's what we're gonna do with her. We're gonna have her in a long position at first. So because she's, she's we feel she's a little short all the time because she, does, she sits for a living. So we're gonna go to a tall standing position, take a light med ball, and do some isometric. So I'll reach up, that provides big length through the area, but safe, and I'll push. The abdominals engage, shoulders engage, the whole interior chain, including the front side of that hip. I'll take it out to one side, I'll take it conventionally to the other, not trying to break the wall, but pushing in, maybe a 40% effort, get a little bit more lateral lean, and a little bit more lateral lean, you can see the hip shift as well. The progression on that will be to extend that hip a little bit more. That means I'm gonna take the foot back behind so those muscles are in a longer position. Again, I'll go through the same points on the clock. Midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, even three o'clock, and commensurately back the other way. Holding each isometric for four, five, six seconds to generate the force and just get activation into the system. Not looking for brutal effort. Then we'll progress to a little bit of a percussive load. So we're gonna go single leg on the load, on the affected leg, a tiptoe touch, just so she has a little bit of stability. We can take that away if she gets good at it. And I'm gonna to start tossing against the wall. So I actually release a little bit and have to decelerate that from coming back. Now it's a slam ball, so the ball doesn't have a big bounce to it. But just that decelerative demand through the anterior chain changes the neural engagement, helps that hit, as long as we don't overcook. So, but that sequence is something that she's gonna be able to learn to do on her own very easily at the beginning of her workout. So that we can do stuff in the gym that she's not gonna be as successful with on her own. We get her to master that homework. She, she applies it on a consistent basis at a moderate level. We start to get better engagement in that hip at a long position. Long and strong is good sometimes. In this case, that's what's gonna help her out.